<laughs> ah, thanks. Um, hi guys. I know I haven't been here in like 20 days. I suck. I suck. It's true. Word word around town is Sabrina sucks. But I'm here, I'm back, and I'm gonna have a wholesome, cute little vlog for you guys today. We are going to do things that make me happy today. That is the title of this vlog. And we're gonna start it off by going on a cute little hike. Oliver is here. We're so gonna yes, sir. get my body moving. I woke up at one today. Believe it or not, that's actually progress for me. <laughs> I know that sounds so bad, but I've been waking up at like 3 p.m. because- Like four, more like four. I'm depressed. <laughs> more like four though, not three. Okay, three or four. 30. <laughs> 3.30. <laughs> Four. I say this in every fucking vlog. Like, that's what, that's the problem here. Okay. Ow. Let's go. Strong girls. Okay, strong town girls. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. We have arrived to our destination. Oh my God, I'm tired. And I just woke up. You got like the baby changing station over here. Girl, why are we yawning? Like, get it together. So come take a bite in the middle of the night. Oh, hi. Hi, guys. <laughs> So we just started a little hike. Um, it's been about five it's been minutes. About Thirty seconds. Not um, even five minutes. So no, I'm yeah, it's lie. been thirty seconds. We're out of breath. I'm already dying. Bars. Um, word. That girl's literally like getting into it. Getting into it. Like that's not even a path. Like if a zombie apocalypse happens, she's surviving. She's fine. Downhill, partner. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? We're on our fourth mile. We just started our fourth mile. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I like, ignored it the first time. And then I was like, okay, like, let me see if she like, tells them that. <laughs> We're like 0.2 miles in. Right? <laughs> We're going to a coffee shop called Cyclass and it's so good. Genuinely the best coffee I've ever had, including New York, because New York has like really good coffee. But this place has the best coffee I've ever had and there's like this pumpkin croissant that I'm I really want to try. Up. So I'm really excited. I'm pumped. I'm ready to go. I'm going to pick Cynthia up some stuff too because she's in a sad mood. So we're going to cheer her up with a pumpkin croissant. Then we're going to go home. We're going to get ready. We're going to do some self-care and I have a cute little Halloween party that I have to go to tonight. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. They're out of the pumpkin croissant. It's a sad day. Can I get two vanilla iced coffees, please? Uh, oat milk, please? What kind of croissants do you guys have right now? Just the regular? Thank you. I'm gonna eat the jam croissant and give Cynthia the chocolate one. Oh, wow. taking care of my skin at all because I am the worst and I just keep falling asleep with makeup on and like just being really stupid so we're gonna do some skincare and we're gonna clean up my face and really get in there because if you've been watching me for a while you know that I have hormonal acne I get acne on my cheeks it's been doing a lot better like my skin for the past four months has been insanely better like here I'll put pictures this is my skin before and well, this is my skin right now, I guess. So I really need to take care of it and I need to make it a priority because if I keep sleeping with makeup on, my acne is going to come back. So we're going to do some skincare. With that being said, let's get into the sponsor of today's video. Thank you, Believe, for sponsoring today's video. I never do sponsored videos. Like, literally none of my videos that I posted on here are sponsored, but I'm really excited to do this one because I am very big on skincare and anything that makes my skin feel and look good because dealing with acne has kind of traumatized me so 
skincare is like a huge part of my life. Okay, I'm gonna start off by washing my face because I haven't washed it at all today. It's like 5 p.m. So my skin feels really gross. I just went on a hike and I really wanna get in there and like wash my face. I'm gonna be using the Aqua Bomb Deli Cleanser. This is my little cow um, headband. I use this every day. <laughs> this face wash is made with amino acids and glycerin based cleansing agents so it gently removes your makeup but it doesn't strip away any of the moisture you actually have on your face which is great because with all the acne medication that I take and that I put on my face my skin's always really dry and like flaky need to really get in there I try to wash my face twice a day or like anytime I work out but I've been slacking so I need to really really get in there the Aqua Bomb Jelly Cleanser that I'm using right now is made with the same hydrating formula that the True Cream Aqua Bomb Moisturizer is made out of. They're just both super hydrating and they're really good for like combination skin or oily skin. If you have really oily skin, the more moisture you put onto it, the less oily you will get. It's kind of like, how do I describe this? It's like when you're cold, your body makes you shiver to like make up for it. So when your skin is dry, your body like produces oils to make up for the fact that your skin is dry. I don't know, honestly, don't really listen to me. Make sure that's correct. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure I read that somewhere. Next, I'm gonna use the Aqua Bomb Hydrating Toner. This is what it looks like. I always feel like such a YouTuber when I do that. Whenever I like hold my hand up like that, I feel like an OG YouTuber, even though I'm not. I know I'm not. I don't have that honor. So I'm gonna put it on a little cotton pad and I'm gonna put it all over my face. I love toners because they just make my skin feel so clean. Like all the stuff that I couldn't get off with a face wash, the toner does for me and I love it. So the toner has honeysuckle in it to soothe and calm your skin, which is awesome because I have very uneven skin. Like my skin gets very red really easily. As you can see here, I have like acne scars and stuff. So the honeysuckle is so nice. The toner is also water-based, it's super hydrating, it gives you like a satin finish, as you can see. Okay, next, I'm going to moisturize. This is the True Cream Aqua Balm. I'm having my YouTuber moment. So this is really good for combo oily and normal skin. It's really refreshing. It's like a literal drink water for dull skin. It has a cooling effect. Oh my god, I'm trying to show you guys. Do you see? You see. It has a cooling effect, which is really, really nice, and it just moisturizes my skin. So the last thing I'm gonna do to moisturize my face is the True Cream Moisturizing Balm from Believe. Hold on, hold on, hold on, give it a second, give it a second. Can you see it? There we go. So I'm gonna put this all over my face. This is best for like flaky and dry skin. And it gives you like that like baby finish. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean. This moisturizer also lasts up to 26 hours. Now, the good stuff. So now I'm gonna moisturize under my eyes with the Moisturizing Eye Balm. Ooh. I don't get a lot of sleep. Actually, I do get a lot of sleep, but I just like don't have a good sleeping schedule. I go to bed at like 7 a.m. and I wake up at like 3 p.m., which is terrible. Don't do that, that's awful. But I have really bad eye bags usually, so I love a good eye cream. This also keeps my under eyes moisturized for 26 hours, so it's a really good base for under eye makeup. So these are obviously mini size, which is great because you can try them out without actually committing to like buying the full size products. So I got the Moisture Bursting Eye Balm set, and if you wanna try it out, you can get this, it's a travel kit. Sephora is actually having a VIB sale right now, so you can get 20% off all of these products. If you're new to the Believe products, you should go to Sephora, try out the little mini kits. They have a bunch of tiny little travel kit so you can try everything out and not have to commit to buying a full-size product and yeah that's it for my skincare i am going to get ready now because i have a halloween party i have to go to so we're gonna get dressed and maybe i don't know honestly we'll figure it out i'll bring you guys along with me thank you believe for sponsoring today's video let's continue the video okay so i just got out of the shower i'm like clean i'm ready to go but i have like 20 minutes to get ready for a vampire halloween party i also feel like i should just like chit chat with you guys you guys haven't seen me in 20 days i suck at youtube so let's catch up you know what i mean i feel like this necklace is giving very like vampire i'm gonna suck your soul well that doesn't sound right <laughs> you know it's just it's giving vampire vibes so let's add this to the outfit i don't even know what the outfit is but we'll figure it out together i haven't really been doing much i've just kind of been living i guess i am starting 
to feel better like mentally starting to feel like myself again which is awesome because you know the grieving process is really fucked up and crazy and there's lots of ups and lots of downs but i'm starting to feel good and just like feel like i can get out of bed in the mornings which is great because i really need that i kind of have been feeling like someone like took over my body and has been living in my body for the past four months and it just has not been me but i've been trying to do stuff that make me happy again like going to the gym and like just moving my body and getting out of bed and like doing stuff because i've realized that when i just sit in bed i am so sad like i get so upset with myself and i feel so unproductive and i just don't feel good so i'm trying to force myself to get up and i'm gonna try to fix my sleep schedule because my sleep schedule is fucked like it is so bad i go to bed way too late and wake up way too late like i spend 90 percent of my day asleep which is so bad for you so i'm trying to fix that i'm just trying to do things like i i'm tired of being sad so i'm trying to do things to get myself up and going again because i want to feel like myself again the past week i've been feeling really good i've been feeling like myself and i think it's just because like i'm surrounding myself with really patient and positive people that like really understand me and like get what i'm going through and just you know support me because sometimes it's kind of like girl get out of bed but you know, my situation is a little <laughs> um, unique. I definitely feel like I'm at a place now where I can like start work working regularly again and I can start like filming regularly and uploading regularly. I was kind of on my grind a couple months ago, like posting once a week and then I lost it, but I feel good again. I feel like I can handle it. I love editing. It makes me feel really good and creative and productive. So I'm gonna really try to get back into it. Um, I'm rewatching The Walking Dead. I've watched it like three times but i'm re-watching it now because it's a great show and i eat up anything that's like dystopian society type of situation like the maze runner the hunger games anything zombies aliens like i just eat that shit up i love i'm a pisces so i live in a fantasy land all the time so anything that's just like remotely different from my normal life i will eat up is that relatable i don't know is that just me i don't know i read somewhere online that like pisces like live in a fantasy land and i really resonated with that you know what I mean? <sighs> Sometimes I speak too much and I forget to breathe and it's not good. This is how I do my eyebrows. I just kind of like, and then I just brush them. <laughs> I don't really need to fill them in very much because they're huge and look like caterpillars, but that's how I like them. I'm Mexican. I'm a hairy girl. Like, look at my arms. Can you even see this? Is it doing it justice? I don't know. But I've learned to embrace it. I like saw a clip the other day of like my era when I was like blonde and wore blue contacts and was trying to be white so bad. But now I just like love being Latina. I'm really like happy and proud of like how um, far I've gone to like accepting me and accepting like where I came from and like my family and just like my background and my bushy ass eyebrows and my hairy ass arms. I've grown so much over the past two years from like who I was when I started social media to who I am now. It like blows my mind. I don't even know who that girl was, but that is not me. I do not claim anything that happened two years ago. <laughs> my blonde era needs to be like burnt to the ground. That was crazy. I just looked bad. Like who let me be blonde? I looked so bad. Wow, that looks really dark on camera. I promise it's not that bad in person. I'm gonna fix it. Um, Have some faith in me. It'll be good. I hope. I actually don't have faith in me. I'm not very good at this. Oh my god, guys, I saw Paramore the other day. If you don't know this, I love Paramore. They're one of my favorite bands in the entire world, and Hayley Williams is like a huge inspiration for me. So I just, I love Paramore. And I went to a concert, my first Paramore concert ever, and it was amazing. Like, I've never seen someone perform like that before. It was crazy. Like, she's amazing she's so incredible and the way she like genuinely just goes on stage and has fun like she does not give a shit she was just having fun and it made everyone in the audience have so much fun with her listening to misery business live was like the experience of a lifetime See Jane. Okay, my battery died, so I changed it, but while it was charging and stuff, um, I finished getting ready. This is the vampire outfit. I feel like the hair is giving vampire. Um, this is the shirt I'm wearing, and then leather pants, big naked wolf boots, and this is the makeup. Am I giving Catherine Pierce? Let me know.
What's your vamp outfit, Oliver? No comment. Guys, this is, I took a nap <laughs> after the hike. <laughs> so like this I thought was like kind of like, Red, black, red, black, red. Yeah. We're gonna go get some food and then we're gonna go to this vamp party. We're just so vamped that I literally don't even like. 